Now, intermittent fasting, I'm not saying it's not good. I've used it, and for what I was trying to accomplish, it did the job. That having been said, it is not optimal for everybody or for every type of objective. So I'm first going to discuss the downside or the cons of intermittent fasting. First of all, uh, it's not for everybody. When I started intermittent fasting, the reason I did it was I wanted to allow myself to eat crap without getting, getting fat. And I think that a lot of people are attracted to intermittent fasting for that very reason. If that is your mindset, don't do it, it will fail. At first, you start eating just a little bit of like, I'm going to eat well for most of my fasting, feasting period, but I have like a one little dessert at the end to reward myself. Then eventually it becomes 50% good food, 50% crap, and in my case, it ended up being 100% crap, right? And, and think about it. People think like intermittent fasting actually requires more discipline than regular eating. People think that it's a diet that will free your mind or whatever, right? It's harder to do because you're not eating for 14 to 16 hours. I don't care how well adapted you are. I was well adapted. And when that feeding window was coming up, I was hungry. And as soon as I started to have food in my mouth, then I was ravenous. So the hungrier you are, the more you require energy when you're approaching your meals, the more likely you are to splurge or to lack control and discipline. So what ended up being my case is that approaching that feasting window, eating window, I would have like one cookie or one donut and I would run to the shop and buy a dozen and eat them in my car before I even made it back home. I felt like crap, of course. I didn't look better. I, I didn't gain that much fat because how much can you overeat over a four hours, six hours window? But for my health, it was not really good because I made bad food choices. And don't get me that as long as you hit your macro kind of stuff, it doesn't work because bad food will create inflammation, will stress your digestive system, you will have bad nutrients absorption, and you become addicted to those foods especially if you have an addicting personality, addictive personality, which is my case. So those who can do well on intermittent fasting are those who have the discipline or, or they don't like junk food, for example, but they have, or they have the discipline not to eat it because I'll tell you, it's going to be harder to stick to good food choices and proper quantities on intermittent fasting approach. People don't understand that when they are using intermittent fasting, it's eating the same food as they would normally do in a regular eating pattern. Intermittent fasting is an eating pattern. It's not a diet type. Diet type is low carbs. Diet type is zone diet. Diet type is high carb. Intermittent fasting it's just a way to divide the food you eat during the day. It's not a license to eat crap. Yes, it is more forgiving. If you have a dessert once in a while, it won't have the same drawbacks as a regular diet. But that is not a license. It doesn't make it okay to turn it into an like, all-out eating feast, right? So you have to eat normally. So that's the thing. The other problem with intermittent fasting is that if you don't have amazing digestive system efficiency and health, it won't work. Why? Because if I'm cramming all those nutrients, all that food to be digested at one big event or two, I'm overloading my digestive system. It's going to be a lot harder to digest and absorb all those nutrients. So even though I'm getting a lot of food, I'm creating tremendous stress and I actually might lack nutrition. 
So I might not be able to make up for those 14 hours of caloric deprivation. So it can work if you want to get lean. But if your goal is to build muscle, it won't work optimally. Yes, some people achieve good physique results from it. But most of them already had the muscle mass to start with, or they have a very efficient digestive system, or they don't require a lot of calories or nutrients to function. Some people function really well on a low amount of calories and nutrients and can grow muscle. But my friend Paul Carter died down on 1,800 calories and he's 250 pounds. He's very efficient at utilizing calories. Not everybody is like that. Some people need 4,000 just to maintain and you can't do that on intermittent fasting without overloading, overstressing your digestive system. So yes, it works for some people, but not for everybody. And if you're using it as a way to indulge then it will just reinforce bad eating patterns that will lead to food problems, bad relationship with food in the long run, which will lead to eating disorder and making your life miserable. I know it did for me. So always consider the pros and cons when selecting an eating approach.